The impact that epilepsy has on one's ability to learn can really vary from person to person. There are seizures that can be infrequent. However, the impact of those seizures on a person's confidence, on their independence, on their mood, and on their anxiety levels and self-esteem can be marked. Confidence, self-esteem, and psychological health are really important for learning, and learning can be negatively impacted in these situations. In other people, the underlying brain problem that caused the epilepsy can also result in learning problems. And they, these learning problems can be specific. For example, some people will have a specific problem with their verbal memory, that is, their memory for spoken word. Other people can have a very global effect on their learning. In other patients, it can be the medications that are used to control seizures or the frequency of the seizures themselves that can impact on learning. There are medications that are known to have a very specific effect on cognition and learning, a good example being topiramate, which is known to slow learning and to affect verbal abilities in people who experience this side effect, but this is not everybody who takes topiramate. There are other medications that can have an indirect effect on learning. Medications like valproate and levetiracetam are known to impact on mood and behavior, and when these are negatively impacted, this can impact on learning in the classroom environment. As parents, it's really important to ensure that you advocate for your child's educational care and to speak to your doctor about the potential impacts of the epilepsy on your child's learning. Supports are available through the education system with guidance officers able to do assessments on a child's learning needs. In some instances, more detailed assessment of a child's learning and assessments for specific deficits that may not be immediately apparent can be obtained through the assessments done by a neuropsychologist. Accessing a neuropsychologist can be difficult in certain areas, but there are a number of private options available, and it is usually worthwhile as the assessments provide guidance and direction on how to best support a child's educa educational needs in the context of their epilepsy.